Government jobs for architects in India. This is one of the most highlighted question that I have been asked in 2024, 2023, 2022. I have answered to a lot of people in comment section, but this is a high time that I make a video. I did some research on what are the examinations that you can give to get into government of India. There are different sectors of Indian government that hires architects, specifically architects for different departments. So this video will comprise of all the sectors that you can get hired into. And it will also comprise of all the examinations that you can prepare and you can give to get into government sectors after completing your architecture. And guys, if you're here on my channel for the first time or if you're here on the second time, Please go ahead, hit a like and subscribe to my channel. This is the ratio of people who have subscribed to my channel and it is very less. So a lot of you are watching my videos, a lot of you getting help from these videos. A lot of architects are getting help from these videos, but my channel isn't growing. Um, I try my level best to make these videos to help our architecture community because I don't think so any other architect in India is doing this right now. They are making videos about foreign architects, foreign architecture, marvels and all of these things. But what about the actual problems, actual things that people want to know? I am doing that. So all I want and all I request to all of you guys is please subscribe to my channel and support this channel so that I can keep making these videos for all of you. And without any delays, let's get started with the video, guys. So guys, there are multiple sectors that you can get hired into government. So government has Ministry of Defense, BHEL, that is Bharat Heavy Electronics Limited. Then there is CPWD. Then there are state services, state public commission services, which again hires architects for different departments, which are their town planning department, urban development department, and even codes and norms are made into these departments. So you can get into all of these sectors if you are planning for government. And now let's come to the most important point. What are the requirements to get into government sectors? So the first requirements for all the jobs that I saw was masters of architecture. Second was like you need to be a registered architect in COA. So for example, if you are not a registered architect like you don't have a license from coa you are not eligible for most of these jobs so these are few of the basic criteria to get into this next coming on to the examinations criteria there are a lot of examinations that happen uh, for specific purposes for example cpwd has its own examination process but now they have integrated it with upsc so last year it happened in august so upsc conducts this examination for cpwd there is an entire syllabus pattern what all things they will be asking and everything and um, I have mentioned a lot of things in the description as well and some of the details of the courses or the examination pattern you can see it on your screen right now. So uh, this is the overview. Next examination is gate examination. This is general aptitude test for engineering and it is mandatory for anyone who is applying for this examination is mandatory for all uh, most of most of the government vacancies that are coming out and this examination is also mandatory if you are going for your masters if you want to do masters from for example iit or even abroad you will have to show your gate scores for that so if you are willing to get into government first thing you need to get your masters it will open up another opportunity for you and you will have your gate scores so again that will be a plus point for you and uh, if you want you can go ahead and give the cpwd examination as well then there is ssc junior engineer examination so for example like most of the engineers uh, get into this one but there are some vacancies that can hire architects as well into this so you can give this examination as well but i would suggest like if you are coming from a civil background go ahead and prepare for ssc junior engineer examination so you will be a junior engineer that is 
is called JR or JE. So you will be working over there as a junior engineer. And of course, you will rise in your uh, ranks slowly and steadily. And guys, most of the architects who are working in government sectors, they have told me one specific thing that there is a lot of reservations that uh, government has to consider while hiring. So if you are going for a state services or something, again, there will be a lot of reservations. So competition, if you are a general category student, it will become a very difficult task for you because even if you are scoring one of the best uh, best scorers over there and your portfolio everything is good you might not get hired because they have very limited seats and those seats are also divided for sc st obc all of these categories and then certain seats are left for general categories so in that general category for example there are four number of vacancies for general category that means that there will be at least 1000 or 100 people behind those four vacancies so it is a very difficult task to get into government sectors for now but again if you are dedicated towards it if you are mastering from iits your a pathway becomes very wide open. A lot of students have done their masters from SEPT. They have gotten into government or probably private government partnership kind of uh, firms. A lot of IITNs have gotten into government sectors like uh, railway departments are also one of the biggest hiring agencies of India. So they hire a lot of architects as well. So to develop the railway stations, to develop the metro stations and all of these things. So they have their own railway examinations. So you can prepare for the railway examinations as well. So there are a lot of examinations and I have mentioned all the examinations link in the description. You can go ahead and check those examinations out. But one thing you have to consider and keep in mind is start preparing for your masters. Keep your scores high if you are an architecture student right now. Keep your scores high. Get into masters. Get your masters from IIT, SEPT, SPA. SPA is School of Planning and Architecture because they also get a lot of uh, government agencies to come and hire you directly. And these are called public agencies as well, which are listed on stock and stuff. So these are like agencies which will hire you directly these are government public partnerships so that's how you can get into government i think this is the best way to get into government and guys if you have any kinds of doubts or queries please go ahead mention it in the comment section i have made a specific video about getting into government there is one of my friends she was working for government back then i have made a video with her probably the quality is not that good but the information is very legit and very good a lot of views have come on that video so you can go ahead and watch that as well and guys if you like this video please go ahead hit a like and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubts please go ahead mention it in the comment section i will see you soon bye bye